Hello, um, my name is Justice McMiller, and I'm the director of the short film Transformers 1, not to be confused with the movie Transformers 1. I, I really don't know why I titled it that. Uh, I love that opening shot. Uh, I wanted to do a commentary. Oh, that, that's such a good shot of Megatron. Um, <laughs> for, for, from below, I love that shot. Um, I wanted to do, to do a commentary because this was one production that had more problems than they usually do. I hate how much dust is on these figures, and it shows just how long it's been since I made a Transformers animation. Um, the movie didn't start start initially as a Transformers 1 thing. I wanted to do something that was a prequel to my Fall of Icon short film from last year. Um, but then one really got to me, especially with Alpha Trion, who was Lawrence Fishburne, man. Such a great character. Um... And yeah, this was this was a really fun project. I gave myself a really strict time frame, um, and I wasn't in a position where I could buy a lot of materials. Um, and as I record this, I just released the movie at twelve eleven in the morning, and um, but it's it's very close to the release of Transformers One, the movie movie, um, and there's very few figures to get your hands on. Um, I love that. I love Braun being the guy just going what in the background. I love how that shows the brutality of Starscream. I think I think I really wanted I really wanted this short film to be a sort of introduction for a lot of people into um, what I want to do with Transformers, I guess. For, for the foreseeable future. I guess we'll see where that goes. Hopefully it won't take another year to make another one. Um, oh, this is so fun. I have so much fun injecting that sort of animation fun that comes with the Transformers. Um, sliding across the battlefield. That's really fun. Man, I love jazz. This was the first... One of the first shots I thought of was... RC hitting Shockwave and doing the Akira slide. I thought that'd be so much fun. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of dark of the moon in this. I didn't realize it, especially this part where they where they crash into each other and transform. I didn't realize until I was in the editing bay and I was like, oh, well then if you see the movie, then you'll know that the ending is just dark of the moon. Um, yeah, I didn't mean for this to be a one-for-one -one recreation of Transformers 1, but uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not good at fight choreography. And so I was like, ah, I need a final fight between Optimus and Megatron. Mm, oh, well, there's a whole movie. And thankfully, not thankfully, but people have uploaded clips online and I can use that to my advantage. Yeah, I the first Autobot death on screen that we've seen in my universe Uh Braun just shot in the face by Skywarp. So cool. B looks so cool with his blades. Um, to be honest, half of these figures were not fun to animate with. Prime Changes Optimus was okay. That Yolo Park Megatron, I love it. I made a fun animation with it, fiddling around with it, building it. Um, but he, he is not fun to animate with. A lot of these figures are not fun to animate with, if I'm being honest. I initially started doing everything like a frame by frame thing, um, but I was unable to complete some of the frames. Like with this Megatron, it can't transform, so I had to change some things. That Optimus, his Energon Axe can only go in his right hand and not his left one. So all of the scenes with the Energon Axe had to be flipped. So it has to come out of his left hand as opposed to his right. I love those shots. I also just didn't have flight stands. Somehow, over the course of all my productions, my flight stands broke. This is my least favorite part of the film. Um, yeah, due to the lack of flight stands um, and plain exhaustion, I just started like eyeballing it, which led to the action's being really, really fast. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely proud of how the end product came out. I do really love 
Chris Hemsworth. Oh, I love that little. I love Megatron just putting Starscream in his place. Just a good showcase of what's to come in the future or explaining why Starscream did what he did in Fall of Icon, which you should watch if you haven't seen yet. I love setting up characters. Uh, Alita and Wheeljack and Autobot Chase. Oh, I'm so glad that nobody else was green in that shot so I could mute the colors so it's just like the animations. I really wanted the blue beam in the sky thing, but instead of it being a thing that they have to stop, the blue beam is a good thing. It shows that they have the Matrix and the Autobots are all happy. For now. The war's not over. Yeah, it's it's really short. It's a really short, short film. <laughs> That's the name. Um, but, I mean, it's... I'm not too proud of it, but it is what it is. Um, I appreciate you guys listening to me ramble on. And I can't wait to see what I make in the future. And I hope you're there as well. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. What am I in a fucking job interview?